What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're into dunks, I have some really good news. As you guys know that the Nike Dunk and the SB Dunk are some of the most sought after shoes that Nike is producing right now. But good news is that they're becoming a little bit more accessible because Nike just announced that they're releasing a big restock of dunks on July 27th on Nike.com. But enough of the intro, let's go ahead and dive in. We're going to discuss some of the dunks that are coming out and what I think the resale potential could be. Or is it a cop or is it a flop? We're going to go ahead and see what's up. All right, so I'm going to do something a little... Yeah, I got it. All right, so I'm going to do something a little different. Um, as you guys know, I own a cook group. So this is kind of like what I would do if I was making kind of the release channels. So we're just gonna go through some of these dunks and see see what's up. So these are actually, I believe, are dropping on the 20th. That's the Dunk Low Whisper. Um, those were a cook for a little bit of time. I remember I was copying them with um, Prism um, on Hibbit, I think. Yeah, I was hitting these with um, prism on a hibbit but yeah those are dropping on the 20th that's not what we're here for here we go okay starting with the first dunk uh dunk low next nature i can tell you right now these are a huge brick i would definitely pass um these were made with um recycled material it's like nike's um way of trying to be like environmentally friendly and awesome um i mean Cool concept. Uh, the colorways kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like a mixture of like mustard and throw up. So I'm um, not really feeling the colorway that much. But just in case, let's just go ahead and look at some sales up here. Um, just I like to just throw the skew up in StockX and take a look. Oh, and it's a woman show. I didn't even see that. So, um, yeah, I, as you can see, um, sorry, I had something in my eye. Um, yeah, most sales are below retail because they retailed at 1 to 15. So, I mean, unless, I mean, the only way I'm going to say that these could be potentially a cop is if you <laughs> live in like a really bougie, upscale, but like liberal area and you feel like consignment shops could sell these because, you know, they're for the environment or whatever. I don't know. But actually, you know what? Just I would just stay away from these. All right, moving on. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next shoe that we're going to talk about is the Dunk Low Medium Olive. Um, this is a great shoe. Um, I can already tell you right now that this is um, going to be profitable. I already have it up right here. If you can, I always go, I always like to go to um, all, and then I always like to go to all sales, and I like to see the volume of sales. The volume of sales is very, very uh, important along with the price obviously but the volume is it a very popular shoe because if it's a popular shoe just because the sales might not be you're not making you know 50 60 bucks off of a sale on stock x that doesn't mean that you can't sell it locally because it means that there's demand for it so as you can see um these are selling for about um a hundred i mean depending on the sizes this is a woman's shoe so um, sizes 10 and up are going to be money because that is like mid-range um, men's sizing. Um, so I would definitely say if you can pick up a pair, especially if you can pick up um, sizes 10 and up, this is definitely going to be a cop. Also, as far as holding goes, at some point, I feel like Nike's going to stop making dunks. Um, you know, this could be next year this could be two years from now and i think that the popular kind of dunks that um we're seeing a lot of now um in the future could potentially have some really nice resale value so this one is definitely for the quick flip and definitely for the hold okay the next shoe that we're going to talk about is the dunk low needlework woman's um i have I've copped this shoe now twice, so this is, I think, the third time they've restocked, I want to say. 
Um, I can already tell you that this is um, a good shoe. I already have it up. Um, again, with a woman's shoe, you want to go sizes 10 and, 10 and up or 10 and a half and up um, because that converts over to men's. And so the highest um, size shoe that you can get for men's or for a woman's shoe is going to be a men's 10 and a half, which is a women's 12. Now, um, the resale isn't like amazing. They're definitely not as good as those um, medium olives, but they're still good. And then again, if we go over to sales, you can see the volume and the demand and they're selling every day. So this is a popular shoe. This is a great shoe to sell um, locally as well. Um, again, if you can get some of those bigger sizes, you're gonna be pretty well off. So this is another good quick flip. And as far as holds go, I'm just going to, not gonna repeat myself, but it's basically the same deal with the Dunk Low Medium Olive, potentially a good hold as well. All right, moving on to some um, not so great dunks. So um, this, not a, not a surprise, they're restocking. This is probably, Still uh, f uh, initial from stock. Um, it's just this kind of stuff just doesn't sell well. Um, and yeah, this is all probably, um, <laughs> won't even let me, um, hold on. That's weird, it was letting me check out everything else, but I have to log in. Yeah, so if we go over to sales, so you can see the volume and the the amount of sales. Um, I mean, honestly, this probably picked up because of um, because of like Pride Month or whatever. But I mean, even when it released, I mean, look how look how dead that is. And this is all sales. So uh, this is one I'm definitely gonna say uh, stay away from. I mean. Pretty cool if you're part of that community, definitely pick it up because it's great for your collection. But as far as any resale value, I would say stay away. These are the uh, something, there's a lot of gray variants. Premium Vast Gray. Um, this is a men's shoe and let's go ahead and look. This actually looks to be um a cop yep sales are looking good volumes looking good um yeah yeah i'm gonna say um this is definitely gonna be a cop now it's f i mean holding i the only thing that worries me with the gray colorways with dunks is there's so many like gray variants you know even like the, those needleworks we were just looking at like that is that's a <laughs> sale neutral gray and then there's vast gray and then there's I, I i'm telling you i've seen like a, look there's all these grays right they're, all i see is grays down here and they're all dunks so as far as holding goes uh that one i'm gonna say um just be careful although it does damn it it does look like a like a it does look like more of a classier dunk like kind of like a dress a dressier like a dress up dunk so i mean either way you should cop it and um as far as holding i'm gonna say it's probably a little bit riskier but um yeah you can definitely uh, make some money on this but the volume isn't isn't as high so it's not as popular so it might be a little bit of a weight um to sell but yeah, this shoe looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to say definitely go for these as well. Moving on, I'm already going to tell you right now this is going to be a hard no, but just in case I'm wrong, let's go ahead and look this up. And yeah, looks like I was right. Um, very little money to be made here. Brick lunch. Actually, well, lunch is getting more expensive now, so it's not even lunch anymore. Um, this is like a this is like a gas station trip shoe, because um, I mean it is it is pretty cool. I mean on feet, I could definitely see these looking good on people, but um, yeah, just not selling. Um, and as far as volume goes, yeah, very low volume. Um, 
So I would say very uh, hard pass. If you have local consignment shops that you think would be interested in this, I would actually ask them beforehand if this is something that maybe they could sell. Otherwise, I'm going to say hard, hard pass on the uh, Dunk Low Graffiti Pinks. Okay, the Dunk... Um, these are the Dunklo EMB Chicago's. They came out with these for the 75th anniversary NBA's. Um, I'm sorry, they came out. They came out with these for the 75th anniversary of the NBA. Um, I'm gonna say that these are definitely a cop. I'm gonna look them up. Um, they should be semi profitable, semi profitable right now. Yeah, they are semi profitable right now. Um, I'm going to say these are a cop for two reasons. One, um, because of the colorway, Chicago colorway, popular colorway, great colorway, um, and also that it's kind of tied to um, like an anniversary, like the NBA's 75th anniversary. Um, so not only would these be good for the quick sell for you know some some decent money we're looking at like 30 to 50 bucks profit over here which is pretty pretty nice on on StockX um but as far as holding goes again if they if Nike stops mass producing the dunks um I could see these being extremely profitable in the future along with the um medium olives and the needleworks so far Okay, looks like this is our last one. Um, this is the Midas Gold. Um, these are huge bricks, but we'll go ahead and <laughs> look them up anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, bricks. Um, so low volume, low sales. Um, I mean, the colorway is kind of cool, but it's not um, not something I would ever wear. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna say. Hard pass on this, don't cop this. All right, that's it that I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like I've provided some value, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, guys.